dugsiga boarding ka iyo maalinlaha ah ee amano amano boarding and day school hello dear for months my name is teacher crispin and i want to take you through our today's presentation of this given lesson and i'm of a strong belief that you are keeping safe as we try our level best to keep away or to keep off from this pandemic that is here with us so i want to welcome you to follow me through this given lesson so that at the end of the day we are able to get what we want to achieve in as far as this lesson is is concerned so as much as this lesson is concerned i want us to move and look at our previous class where we read a comprehension passage about a famous nurse called Florence Nightingale and we answered questions in relation to the same now it's good to note that this is a continuation of the previous topic of discussion and we were dealing with the listening and speaking skills now when i talk about the idea of listening and speaking skills you have to agree with me that we defined the idea of listening and speaking skills where we were trying to actually look at how do we speak and then if we are speaking to somebody who is this other person that is trying to listen to listen to us so at that particular point i want us to begin this lesson by defining who a paramedic is remember our topic of discussion previously we had talked about a nurse and we linked the two we are talking about nurses and paramedics so it sounds good that we define who a paramedic is so that we shall be trying to link it to who a nurse is now in this given definition we want to define a paramedic as a specialist health professional who responds to emergency medical services and most often in ambulances they go an extra mile in ensuring that the victims in the emergency situations are assisted and if possible evacuated to their safe to their safe place now based on this given definition of who a paramedic is i want us to highlight some few words here that should come into your mind when we are talking about a paramedic we cannot forget to mention the word a specialist health professional yes nurses are also professionals nurses are also specialists in that given profession but at this particular point we are saying that this person is responding to an emergency and that emergency is related to medical what to medical services and then another word that we cannot forget to mention here is the idea that they are often using what they are often using ambulances now in that given aspect this is now what makes a paramedic different from a what a paramedic different from from a nurse now having said that we now move to another aspect as we continue with our discussion today and here i want us to take some point of notification and that's why i'm saying it's an ending that it's good to note that paramedics provide emergency medical care before reaching a hospital at that particular point i want to bring to your attention that they are pre those paramedics are providing emergency medical care that tells you as we go back to our definition we are looking at those providing medication in emergency situations that one should stick into your mind those medical professionals are giving that emergency medical care in emergency what situations now while nurses typically work in hospitals or patients at at home now at that particular point we have to look at a paragraph at some given at some given point now below is a well defined passage telling us about the history of paramedics and what they and what they do now i want to look at a career as a paramedic and we want to look at the entry requirements of when you want to become a paramedic what do you or what are you supposed to to be having because that sounds proper because most of us in this given class will want to become paramedics in future the question you have to ask ourselves because this is a contemporary issue this is a course that all of us are able to take now anyone wishing to work as a paramedic needs to either secure a student paramedic position with an ambulance service trust or attend an approved full time course in paramedic science at at a university and then at that particular point the entry requirement for student paramedic positions will vary depending on the on the employer that tells you that different employers will have different qualifications to come in now the range of paramedic science courses at the university varies at in terms of entry requirement but a minimum 5 GCSE including english mathematics and or science plus at least a level 
or equivalent qualification is typically needed. However, it's essential that you can you conduct each university directly for information on its admission, on its admission policy. Now, you will also need a full manual driving license. That is very important. That for you to become part of the paramedic team, a driving license is important. Remember, we began it. We said it. They are working in ambulances. They are working with ambulances. An ambulance that they are using, that the ambulance services use vehicles of different gross weights and staff will be required to hold a driving license with appropriate what? With appropriate qualification. So you must have a driving license for you to become a paramedic. Because look here, these are people who are actually working in emergency situations. One, you should have the qualification. And then number two, you should be able to have a driving license so that just in case you are told to drive that given ambulance because it's an emergency situation, my friends, you have no option. You have to take up that car, you have to take up that lorry, you have to move. That is the essence of having what? A driving license. So to practice as a paramedic, you must be registered with the Health Professional Council. And in order to register with that health, health CPC, you must successfully complete an HCPC approved program in, in paramedic science. Now courses tend to be modular with flexibility entry and exit points, depending upon your academic qualification and any other relevant what? Experience. They last for two to five years, depending on whether you study full-time or, or part-time. And then it's important to check entry requirements with the university concerned and the ambulance service trust in the areas where you want to do what? In the areas where you want to, you want to work. Now, it's also important to note that students applying for full-time university courses usually need to apply through the universities and colleges admissions board. And those already working as a student paramedic should speak to their employing ambulance service about applications for part-time what for part-time courses now students on full-time courses on paramedic science are not eligible for financial support through the national health science service bursary scheme however in some cases there may be local funding arrangements between the nhsa and some universities so you are advised to conduct university directly to inquire about this now in many Ambulance trust students paramedics receive a salary while you're training on while you're training on job now for further information on the funding available you are supposed to conduct individual ambulance service trust within you are within your region now having looked at that it sounds better that we try to go through these given questions to try and understand because remember our topic of discussion today is paramedics and we are dealing with the listening and speaking what speaking skills now these are the questions and these questions are actually related to the to the passage that we have just read the first question what does someone who want to work as a paramedic need to do the second question which route to become which route is to becoming a paramedic is no longer available and then number three which two subjects are essential for qualification? We looked at that in that given passage. There were some qualifications that were given at that particular point. I want you to read through, find out which subjects were those, the most common subjects that were, that were required at that particular point. And then number four, how can you register with HCPC? There was a procedure that was given. You have been listening to me as I read this particular passage. So that given procedure has to be known very, 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 very clearly. Now, how long does a paramedic science course last? That's another good question. If we answer this given question again, in a correct way, it means we would have understood our passage of discussion properly. Now, who is eligible to receive financial assistance from the NHS? That one is also very clear in that given passage that we have just 